Yo, what's going on guys? Flames in here. Today is episode 36 of me testing different day trading strategies to see what is actually profitable. In today's video, I will share with you an insanely powerful technical indicator that will make you a fortune. No one really knows about this tool yet, so consider yourself lucky for finding this video before it actually blows up. Also, make sure you watch it till the end because I will build and backtest a super accurate strategy with this magic indicator so you can see for yourself how well it works in different market conditions. If you would like to make up to $250 for free in Bitcoin, you can join the BlockFi link in the description. And also if you do like free money, you can also join the Maxi Global link in the description and win up to $1,000 in bonuses. Now just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so we're currently sitting on the Bitcoin versus USDT on the 15 minute time frame, And the indicator I want to show you is called Braid Filter. And it is this one here by Mango2Juice. Right away, I do want to mention that this is not an original version of this indicator. The original version actually does consist of three lines. And in my opinion, it is a bit harder to read. This particular indicator is the second version of the braid filter. As we can see, it is very easy to understand. So even a beginner can use it. There is also another version that does color the bars, but unfortunately it's currently not available on TradingView. Okay, so this indicator was actually first introduced in 2006 by a man named Robert Hill, also known as Mr. Pips. If we come down here and access its settings, we can actually see that the indicator is based on on different types of moving averages. You can customize the settings as you wish, but I personally like to keep them on default. And the way that we actually use this indicator for entries is fairly simple. Every time the histogram turns from either green or gray to red, this is actually considered as a new short signal. And if the histogram has either changed from gray or red to green, this is a new signal to go long. This moving average acts as a filter as we can see, when the histogram is below the moving average, there are no signals to be issued. This usually happens when the volume in the market is low, and these are exactly the times that we want to avoid. This indicator is considered as a confirmation indicator, which falls into the category of indicators that serves as an initial checkpoint after the baseline indicator provides you with a foundational signal. You might be asking, should this indicator be used as an exit indicator? My answer would be probably not. If you observe the signals given by the indicator on the chart, you'll see that they can be somewhat choppy at times, which may indicate a premature exit. That being said, I advise you to only consider this indicator as your first or second confirmation indicator. So let's actually see how accurate these signals can be. Okay, so overall, as we can see, this indicator does issue pretty good signals. However, by no means am I saying that you should be using it on its own. Because if we do take a look at some signals, we can see that they are far from accurate. Like this one here that told you to go long. If we take a look at that, you would have opened your long there. Maybe bring your stop loss down towards this previous swing low. Set your risk to reward at even 1 to 1.5 and then you would have got stopped out there pretty quickly. So in order to actually filter out these bad signals, I have come up with an extremely powerful strategy. And now let me show you how to build the setup. First, head over to our indicator section and type in CM trend bars. CM EMA trend bars by Chris Moody. Let's actually click on it here uh, into the settings and change our EMA uptrend from 34 to 100. And the second indicator that we're going to add is ADX with DI, which is this one here with 36,000 users. Now let's access this indicator settings and we're gonna take off these two lines and change this one just to be a little more visible. Okay, the setup is now ready. Let's get into the trading rules. Okay, so here are the conditions for entering a long trend. First, the price action must be closed above our moving average. 
As we can see, once the price action does that, the bars do get colored in green. Second, the braid filter needs to issue a new bullish signal. Third, the ADX line must be above R20 level, and it also does need to be pointing in an upwards direction. If the line is pointing downwards or flat, we simply just do not enter the trade. We're going to place a buy order on the close of our triggered candlestick. Our stop loss can either be set at our moving average or at the price of our recent swing low. And for this strategy, we are actually going to be targeting one and a half times the risk. Okay, let me give you another example. As we can see here, the price action broke above our moving average and the bars became green. The braid filter issued a new long signal. The ADX line is above our 20 level and it is also pointing upwards. Okay, here are the conditions for entering a short trade. First, the price action must be closed below our moving average. Second, the braid filter needs to issue a new short signal. And third, the ADX line must be above our 20 line and also pointing upwards. Same again, the stop loss can be set at your recent swing high or your moving average. And we're gonna be targeting one and a half times the risk. Here is another example. We can see that the price action is still moving below our moving average. Our first confirmation indicator issued a sell signal and our ADX line confirms it. So we would have been opening another short here on this candle close, bringing your stop loss there up towards that previous swing high, targeting 1.5 times the risk. And once again, that would have been another successful trade. Okay, traders, I hope you have understood the rules for this strategy. If you have any questions, please ask me down in the comments. Now let's backtest this strategy 100 times and see how it performs in different market conditions. Before we do get into the backtesting, I would really appreciate a like for going through and finding all these profitable strategies for you. It really does help the channel grow and I just want to get this to as many eyes as possible to help people become profitable traders. Okay, the back testing is done. And as I said, the results are extremely promising. In fact, in the first like 15 trades, I only had two losses, but overall we actually did manage to come out with a 79% win rate. We actually managed to increase our account size by 473% net profit. I found these 100 setups within four months. Our equity curve was actually extremely consistent. Our profit factor was around 4.5. Our max consecutive wins was 11 against our max consecutive losses, which was only three. Then also lastly, the maximum drawdown for the 100 trades that I actually took was only 5.88%. These numbers basically tell us that this strategy is really safe and I would definitely recommend it. Go ahead and back test it and then also forward test it with paper money on different markets and also different timeframes as well. If we do compare it to other strategies that we have seen on my channel, compared to a lot of the ones that I've looked at other people's strategies and then back tested them myself. And obviously it hasn't come out as high a win rate as they do claim it to be. This is definitely up there. I would say it is in the top five. So this is definitely solid. I will also make an Excel sheet. I was asked in one of my videos the other day, if I could make an Excel for the top trading strategies that I have covered, and I will do that over the next few videos. Okay, traders, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you